Good evening, friends. Um, so, wanted to just update a couple of things with you. Um, let you know how things are going, let you know how I am, um, and make a couple of personal requests. So, up until a few days ago, I was just someone on Facebook who had a reasonably small following and overnight through documenting the brutality by the Morton County Police things have blown up feeds have been getting three four million views I've had people from all walks of life everywhere reaching out to me I love you guys and I really appreciate everyone who's messaging me first thing I'm going to ask you guys is unless you have something really important something that's going to help camp some way of donating financially or some way of donating something um, physical or helping pass on some information that's of a vital nature. If you could refrain from messaging me, calling me a hero, saying I'm amazing, I feel very uncomfortable with that. I'm not doing this to have my face out there. I'm not doing this to be a hero. I didn't do this about me. This is about protecting those lands. This is about stopping the pipeline. And the biggest compliment that you can pay to me is to share the real story. Everyone there's a hero or no one's a hero. Everyone there is, is there for a reason, is standing up for what they believe in. I just happen to be in the right spot at the right time. I, have, I know I'm getting message about things happening back at camp. I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I'm totally overwhelmed right now with a lot of the thing, with a lot that I've received. Um, with a lot of the things I've seen. So I'm taking some time personally to go and uh, just decompress a little bit. I'm going to go and see some people for some healing tonight and to talk because I've seen things I'm never going to unsee in my life. So there's two links here. There's two ways you can help. People that are asking about me, asking questions about me, I invite you to go to my website, letyoursoulplay.com. At my website, what you will find is... Um, you'll find a link to my YouTube, it will show you all about my history, it will show you where I came from. Right now I don't have time to enter into those conversations about me, that's not what it's about. Um, there's also a link for a fundraiser that I set up to help winterize camp. It was set up for 5,000, so far it's at about 12,000. One thing we're going to do is, if we get enough money in, we can maybe purchase a vehicle for the women. So if you want to help in some way and are able to help financially, donate to that fundraiser. By doing that, that's going to allow us to do a lot of things at camp and make sure people are safe or as safe as they can be. One of the reasons I'm asking people not to message me is, with the hundreds of messages, I'm also getting important messages in there from news outlets who want to use that footage finally to share the real story and to protect the water protectors and let people know what's really going on. And the problem is when people message me to say hi and thanks for your feeds and all those other important messages get lost. I spent the last day and a half literally going through messages. So if you could refrain, refrain from messaging me unless it's really important. If you're a news outlet and you're watching any of my live streams and you want permission, you can have permission. I'm more than happy for this to go out, the message to go out. Um, for the people that have been supporting uh, Sophia Walinski, who had an arm brutally destroyed by the percussion grenade that was thrown and blew up underneath her, thank you for supporting that fundraiser. And you will have seen the official press release. People are still messaging me to ask if it's okay to share those photos. Those photos now have her face blacked out. Please do share those photos. The reason her face is blacked out is for protection and for legal reasons. The original photos right now we are working on a authorization form so that they can be used in the media and go viral around the world so you guys can help do that. Um, I appreciate everyone who's reached out and asked if I'm okay. I've got all my limbs intact. I'm lucky. I'm blessed to have been able to be here and document what's going on because this is an atrocity happening on American soil. 
that should never be happening. All the people at camp who have seen things, those things are never going to leave them in their life. Their life is changed forever. My life is changed forever. Everyone I've met at camp, their lives changed forever. There are so many amazing people from all walks of life at camp. And I don't want this to be about me. So if you have questions about me, go to my website. When this is all over, there are other things that I'll be doing to continue doing that I was doing before I even started and came up here to Standing Rock. So thank you for all your support. Um, if you are able to donate a van or a bus that can be used to get the women around safely at camp in the sub-zero conditions, that would be fantastic. Otherwise, we're going to use the funds that come in to purchase a vehicle if we have enough funds that come in. Um, I had some other things to say. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Cora. Um, thanks for everyone that watched and shared. I'll keep bringing you as much of the story as I can um, and showing you everything. Um, yeah, there's a medic, the medichealerscouncil.com. You can go there and you can donate there. Um, you can choose to come to camp and do many things at camp without being on the front lines. Camp itself is not a dangerous place. You can choose as many, many things that you can do there to help. People are choosing to go and stand on those front lines. Sophia made a choice to go and help those water protectors on the front lines. What they said about those water cannons. I know what they said about those water cannons and I know what I saw and I know what you saw from my live video feeds. Um, MedicHealersCouncil.com I'll post it. They do need help building structure at camp. Absolutely. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to ask. We need straw bales. Straw bales. Yes, you can send blank. You can send items to camp. I'll post the PR box for you to send stuff. Um, care of Lindsay to myself. Um, straw bales. If anyone's able to bring straw bales. I appreciate you putting the word out on the van. Hey Kayla, thanks for joining. Yeah, come to wash dishes, that's amazing. There you go, medichealercouncil.com. I'm fine, I'm alright. It's it's hard. It's hard for everyone there. I'm not there right now, I've come into town to run some errands. I'm excited that more people are coming. If you can come, come, there's so much you can do when you're at camp. If you choose to be on the front lines, you can choose to be on the front lines. That's a physical choice. But again, anyone who's joining, please don't send me messages in the nicest way possible. I appreciate all the love, I appreciate all the concern. But if I can just get messages that are important, I'll be able to concentrate on bringing some of these things together. I know tomorrow there is going to be a press conference with Democracy Now! talking specifically about the incidents on that night, specifically about Sophia Walensky. So in order to be able to see those things and organize those things, it makes it so much easier if people aren't messaging me, thank you and your feeds are great. Um, just share my feeds. If you can make a comment on my feeds that's important, I'd ask you to send me a message if it is important, if it's important, if it's something I need to know, if it's something you can help with, if it's a way to get this out to the world, then commenting on my feeds, there's thousands of comments, I can't even read them. I'm going tonight to the casino, I had some healers reach out to me and ask me to come, so I'm going tonight personally. Um, I'm fine, I have a green card, don't worry about me on that sense. I, I, I heard something about some veterans coming, someone mentioned that to me, I don't know. Um, but, it 
that's amazing. And then the other thing is, if I do post this PO box so you can send things, if you're able to send things, please think really carefully about what you send. We do need heavy duty blankets. We do need. We do need um, heavy winter coats. We do not need more lightweight blankets. We don't need summer sleeping bags. We don't need cotton socks. Um, so if you're going to send stuff, especially if you're going to buy stuff, if you've got stuff lying around that can be used for insulation, that's great. If you're going to buy stuff, make sure it's extreme weather. I'm glad to hear Santa Barbara are covering the news. I saw, yes, heaters, propane heaters would be amazing. That would be perfect if you're looking for something to send. Propane heaters. Um, for indoor use, for going inside teepees, for going inside tents. I'm going to post a P.O. box and you can send those things care of myself to that P.O. box. Um, Yes, there is right, there is an official Ocheti Saku in camp.org. You can find a lot of information there. The reason I'm using a personal fundraiser is because people want to donate in my direction. And that personal fundraiser has raised over 12,000 so far, which has been used to build one teepee that's 23 foot, which is acting as a women's shelter. It's going to be a women's meetings place. Um, yesterday, we had about nine grand come in which will be with us within the next couple of days. That's going to be able to be used to help support the people through winter, to go to the people that really need it without going through a ton of official channels, just going ahead and solving problems and making things work. Um, yes, gas masks would be fantastic for people. Um, Wetsuits would also be useful, um, but the people that mentioned that, that sent those. Um, but think it's extreme weather, it's extremely cold. So if you were sending your son or your daughter out into a blizzard, what would you put on their feet? What would you put on them for a coat? What would you give them as a hat? Would you give them a lightweight knitted hat? Would that do anything? Would you give them a lightweight scarf or would it be a really heavy duty scarf? I know this sounds like common sense, but people send care packages and it's so beautiful they send them that 90% of the stuff doesn't even get used. I don't know how you get hold of Bill and Linda Gates. <laughs> that makes, I, I love them. Um, hot socks, yeah, those. I will give you a P.O. Box now. It's P.O. Box 1281, Cannonball, North Dakota. I'll put it up in the comments as well. So that's the PO box right there. Um, sorry, my mind's blank right now. I'm not under mind control. No, I'm tired. Thanks, Chevy. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah, there's still an Amazon wish list. There's the medichealerscouncil.com where they have a donation for the medics. Yeah, wool is great. When you have cotton against skin, it causes hypothermia. That's what the medics were saying. Um, thermal, polyester thermal under layers would be great. Um, I, I haven't heard the official updates on Sophia. Um, I know that she has had at least one operation. I know she's with her family. I know her family are extremely grateful for all the support they've had. They're extremely grateful for all the donations to the GoFundMe. They're extremely grateful for everyone that shares those photos. So find those photos on my page and share them. Um, so once again, if you're just joining, I don't want to be looked on as a hero. I don't want thanks and praise the biggest praise is to share my things if you want to know about me go to my website the links up there for you if you want to donate then there's this fundraiser I set up that we can use um, go ahead and use that we will make sure those funds get to the right places and fast 
Bill got a warning for loving this too much. I don't have an answer about medical medical marijuana. I believe medical marijuana is a complete no-no on camp. There's no drugs, no alcohol, no weapons. There's no exceptions to that. This is a peaceful, prayerful camp. That's why what you saw the other night with those water cannons, the concussion grenades, the, the tear gas, the mace, everything that's being released onto peaceful, prayerful people. I spoke to someone today who spoke to one of the elders that had been hurt. So, um, I don't know about Russia. There's so much info out there. write a Facebook page. You can buy stuff on Amazon and use that P.O. box. They do need supplies for horses, for sure. They need hay bales for insulation, straw bales for insulation. Hay no hay. Hay is for horses, straw is for insulation. If you can get a truck of straw bales, that would be amazing, the small square ones. Um, I didn't hear anything about a vigil, but at five o'clock apparently there's a vigil for Sophia. Um, people burning candles, so if wherever you are, you're able to light a candle for Sophia. That would be amazing. I did personally speak to the girl who helped take care of Sophia on the front lines and helped get her transported to ambulance and to emergency today. Um, I don't know what's going on at camp. Uh, yes, women do need menstrual products. That's always helpful to have women's hygiene products. Also, um, senior women will need um, like incontinence pads. incontinence pads. Not just women, men too. And men, it wasn't just women. Um, my brain's fried. I oh, don't need newspapers and egg cartons. No, it would be great for insulation if it was there, but sending a bunch of that in. <laughs> no, um, it's a very nice thought though. Yeah. Um, her father has that information. I spoke with... Um, I spoke with Sophia's friends today in New York. I've been in contact indirectly with her father. They have the information they need in. Um, that is already done. Um, yes, definitely having uh, the warmers. Yes, firewood would be great. Um, and again, anyone that's just joining, thank you so much for all your support. Please don't look at me as a hero, I'm not a hero. I'm just doing anything, the thing that anyone could do is pick up a phone and documenting it. I will put the post office address up here in a second. What I ask you to do is to go ahead, if you can, donate to the, to donate to the fundraiser that's up there. If you can't donate, just share this. And always share my live streams. Share my live streams. If you have anything important to tell me, please send me a message. And if you don't have anything important, please don't message me. Check out my website. Um, I didn't know I was going to be their voice, and I'm very proud and very happy that finally NBC News put out something that wasn't twisted, and that was amazing, and other news channels are following suit. We are the media, and by sharing these, this is what you do. I will continue to share as much as I can. Um, but... I, I was fortunate enough to put the truth out and people saw that. Perfect. Um, I don't know anything about the layman of medical treatment. What I can tell you is the fastest route to the hospital would be up 1806 to get out of there. Going round the long route through the Highway 6 is an extremely long way to go anywhere. So yes, by having that road blocked continually, by the uh, by the forces um, that causes major problems for emergency vehicles um, so 
This is a list of medical supplies at medichealercouncil.com. All right, guys, I'm going to call this to an end. I really appreciate it. I am going to grab a second phone number while I'm here so that people are able to get a hold of me while I'm live streaming. And thank you. Just please keep sharing everything. Please keep supporting in any way you can. And I uh, love to you all. You take care. I'll be back with you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.